Hello and welcome to the Azimuth 43, known as Captain Hook, um, which is currently based at Monton, which is in the south of France, just on the Italian border. The images uh, and the video which you are about to see was all shot in June 2022. Um, and here she is just on her way out of Monton, just climbing onto the plane um, in direction Italy. And uh, we'll touch base again when she's uh, back tied up on her berth in Monton. So this is Port Caravan Montant where the yacht is based and we'll soon be quayside. There we are. So there's Italy through the little gap there. You can see that's Italy straight in front of you. It's France over to your left. Here is Captain Hook. Um, she's British registered on the small ship's register. VAT paid in Italy. Um, so she's safe in European waters. That is the electro-hydraulic passerelle, which acts as a crane as well as a passerelle to help you onto the quay. Um, an exclusion is that tender, which is more of a speedboat. It's a 60s replica speedboat, which the owner is particularly fond of and wants to keep. Engine room access is from the cockpit, so let's start down there. I wanted to show you the engine room because it really is a thing of uh, I won't say it's beauty, but it, it really is well laid out. Uh, it's good engineering. You've got the big Rackle filters there. Um, just to the right, which you will see in a second, you've got the generator. At the back there, you've got the steering system. Back up into the cockpit, the that's the table that actually stows away within the combing there, so that's a good system. Directly in front of you is a safety cupboard where you've got your fuel, fuel shut-off valves uh, and fire extinguisher. Here there's a little sink uh, so you can rinse your hands after you've touched the, been using the mooring ropes. And below there, just there, is a refrigerator which also acts as a um, freezer because you can set it to be super cold. So into the salon now. Um, so settee on your left, that's quite straightforward. There, that table there, the top spins round, turns round and opens up in order to make a, a sort of proper dining table. Um, but the really clever thing about that whole uh, assembly is the fact that the, um, the table goes down, up and down, it's operated electronically by a switch. Uh, in the down position, with that seat squab out, you can actually make a full double bed there. Over on this side, uh, that's a piece of furniture and as you can see with these photos I've dropped in, it shows where the azimuth, cutlery, um, crockery um, and serving dishes are all, um, are all stored safely out of the way. So moving up from there, um, we've got your um, TV, which is a 24 volt and 220 volt TV. So you don't have to be running the generator or be in shore supply in order to use that television, um, which is uh, a pretty useful feature on this shot. So moving forward, there's the galley down the steps on the left. Um, there's the helm seat. This is the lower helm station. Um, you've got your single, your single lever controls, your bow thruster control, in full instrumentation there. And now we drop down into the galley, just a few steps down. So here we are in the galley, you've got the proper um, electric hob, microwave, um, there directly ahead of you, you can see that's where the battery switches are and your 220 volt uh, uh, electrical system is uh, switched on there. 
below there is the, that's the uh, freezer that's your freezer which is on the just on the left hand side and there's your refrigerator so if we come back now this is into the main accommodation on your right hand side is the entrance to the twin cabin there's the entrance into the second bathroom with a vacuum flush head and a shower wash hand basin the bed on the right hand side can be moved over to the other side so you've got a full double there and here we are in the main owner's cabin we'll just have a little spin around there we pass the wardrobe um, on the starboard side there's another uh, entry there's another wardrobe there on the port side and there's the entrance into the other bathroom Here's some useful storage under the bed. More useful storage under the bed. And there's one of the wardrobes, one of the hanging wardrobes. So back out now. Through the teak covered cockpit, up the teak covered steps, up onto the flybridge. There's the helm station. You could just see to the left of the wheel the single lever control. Now the single lever control is linked to the bow, linked to the bow thruster and also linked to the engine controls. So you've got a joystick control for very easy maneuvering. So if you're short-handed, that's a very good way of, um, of maneuvering the boat. One of the Raymarine domes there contains a radar scanner. Um, there's the Bimini, it's quite a substantial unit. Looking over to the foredeck now, there are two sun deck cushions which are not shown, uh, but of course they're, they're really in a very good condition like the rest of the yacht. Um, uh, they sit on the front there. There's a little bit more of Italy in front of you. This berth could be available, or a similar berth could be available to rent in uh, Port Garavan if required. I'll just show you the flybridge area again. Thank you for watching and do not hesitate to get in touch uh, for more information and a full specification.